Hey, Chad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web. And today we're going to uncrate the Albion Stars Bogota Pro Dry Star Jacket. What's up, Speed Addicts fan? Before I jump in and give you the down low on this Alpine Stars Adventure Touring Jacket, do us a favor, subscribe to that Speed Addicts channel. It only takes you a click, and that way you're up to date on the latest gear coming your way. Speed Addicts is always working hard to educate you and give you that first look at the newest gear. Also, if you'd like to support us here at Speed Addicts, you can do so by simply shopping with us. And we make it real easy. There's a link in the description below. They'll get you right over to the Bogota jacket over at speedaddicts.com. And while you're over there, feel free to shop for any other parts or gear you might need for your next two-wheel adventure. And we are talking about adventure today. It is the Bogota in honor of Colombia here. We have an adventure touring jacket that will truly take you from Panama and Patagonia and back. This thing is loaded with features. And it is a little toasty with all the layers in it, man. I, excuse me if I'm spritzing here. Uh, Producer Matt will take that out in post. Okay, multiple colorways available and relatively affordable price here for what you're getting. $419, I know it's not inexpensive, but compared to some of the other ultra high-end touring jackets out there on the market today, you could easily spend two or three times that. So I think there's a lot of value here. So this is a dry star product from Alpine Stars, which means you are going to get protection from the wet. You are also going to get CE level certification double A. When it comes to apparel and CE certification, there are three levels. Level A, double A, and you guessed it, triple A, typically reserved for like racing leathers and jackets. So for a textile jacket, double A is pretty much as good as it gets. You got level two uh, nucleon armor in here. I'm going to tell you more about that in a minute. Let's talk about the size. So I'm always an extra large in Alpine Stars jackets. 6'2", 220, 44 inch chest. And the XL on the Bogota fits me great. We got the great, our good length here for adventure touring, that more upright riding position. It is going to feel quite nice. Go by that sizing chart. And again, you have the option of small through four extra large. If you order according to the sizing chart, you're gonna be in good shape. But in case you're not, if you order at Speed Addicts, you're covered with no cost return. So what do you have to lose? Couple clicks, get a free return label, Send it back, get a different size, get a different color, or just get your money back if it's not for you. We're going to treat you like family and not nickel and dime you on that return shipping like those other guys do. And to qualify, all you have to do is live in lower 48 states and make sure the gear is brand new in the original condition. Just try it on at home, okay? No test rides. Just in the living room. You can make the noises and everything. Okay, back to the jacket. 600 denier main shell, and we double up the protection in the abrasion zones, which are the elbows and the shoulders. So 600 deniers, pretty good as far as the chassis are concerned. And then they're reinforcing that uh, outer shell construction with dual layers in the elbows and shoulders. So you're covered there. Let's talk about the layers and the protection from the element. So you have a water treated exterior shell that is going to shed that in those initial droplets, you ride through a quick shower. It's all just gonna roll off this jacket. But if you're in sustained wet weather, that's where the dry star membrane kicks in. Now, this is a hung membrane. It's separate from the rest of the jacket. You can either wear it inside of the jacket, like it's set up from the factory, or what most people actually do is take the dry star layer out and wear it over the jacket if you know you're going to run into wet weather. You can keep it in your, um, in your bags and pull it out if you're gonna ride into some weather. When you leave it in, you have a three layer system. You have the outer shell, you have the dry star membrane, and then you have a thermal layer. So as you can tell, it gets quite toasty here in the studio. You're probably gonna wanna ride just the shell or the thermal layer set up depending on what sort of weather you're running into. Now that is how the dry star system works. Now this garment is compatible with their Tech Air system. So all you need is about the size of a golf ball in terms of extra room outside or between your body and the garment for that air system, the Tech Air 5 or 3 to inflate in here. And Tech Air 3 can also be worn outside of a garment, but uh, you probably wouldn't wear it outside of an adventure jacket like this. Let's talk about the armor here. So <clears throat> if you're not using the Tech Air system, you are going to be relying on their Nucleon armor. Now this stuff is supple. It is soft, it is lightweight, and it absorbs energy just as good as its old school foam counterparts without all the bulk. Now this is a level one nucleon here, so it is a little thinner than what's inside of the Bogota from the factory. In here you have their level two. So this is CE level two rated nucleon in both the elbows 
and in the shoulders. If you want to soup this thing up, you have a pocket for a back protector so you're ready to take it to the next level. This stuff is really good though. I put it up right up against uh, D3O. It's kind of the same idea that it's soft and supple until it in makes impact with a surface and then it's going to put its back up, protect your back. There it is. So this is the level two. Again, it's the Nucleon Flex Pro in instead of just the, uh, I think it's the Flex Light or the Flex, whatever the standard one is in a lot of their other garments. Uh, large mesh panels in the chest area will keep you cool if the going gets hot. So if you pull out that thermal liner, you pull out the drive star membrane and you're just wearing the shell, that isn't enough. You're going off road. You're going to start working hard on those single tracks. This is just a giant mesh panel and you can put this away a few different ways. You can roll it up. You can pin it to uh, the snap here. Here you go. Depending on how much airflow you need. Let's see if I can get that. There you go. So you see what's happening there. That is, if we pull this out, you see my, oops, that is just through that mesh inner shell. So you get a lot of airflow going. We'll go ahead and pull this one out so you can see what I'm talking about. Above that, we have a little bit of a reflective material, give you more visibility out there on the road. Let's go ahead and open this up. Lots of ventilation down the arm. So this isn't a two-way. Sometimes you get a two-way top and bottom. It's just a one-way, but you can decide how much you want to open that up. Here's the the uh, the max vented position here. So these aren't pockets, these are just vents. Again, so if you open up the chest and the arms, you are a giant ventilation contraption at this point to keep you cool. On the back, there's another huge door back there. You notice we didn't take the uh, tissue paper off their zippers in the back, but you can drop that whole back panel behind my shoulder blades. I'll show you, I'll pull it off in a minute and show you how that works. Okay, now when it comes to the pockets, zippers, closures, there's a lot here. You're gonna have plenty of cargo space. They, you notice they have the weather resistant pockets on the outside, you get both a zipper, okay, down here, and then you get the flap pocket, like more of the cargo style on both sides there. On the inside, waterproof compartment. On this side, just standard cargo pocket, you get another zipper slash up here and you can actually put chest armor inside of here. So if you wanna get the Nucleon chest protector, you can. Same over on this side, there it is. And then down low, you're going to have a zipper to pant connection. You also get that shock cord you see down there, you can pull that tight and keep the elements out of the jacket. Okay, I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna show you the inside and the back. On the Bogota. And we're back. I have the Bogota in all three of its pieces. The internal thermal liner with full sleeve, like I mentioned before, that snaps right out. It has snaps down the middle as well as down on the sleeve to keep that in place. The dry star layer, which essentially can be worn inside or out. So this is your waterproof membrane. Now you see that they have that high vis yellow for when you wear it over the outside of the jacket, give you that visibility in those ugly conditions here. That is nice to have. And then we're gonna go to the back and show you the Bogota trap door here. You're gonna go ahead and zip that down. Again, you've got snaps here so you can roll this and decide how far open you want it to fly. And you got that full mesh panel for lots of airflow. That is the Bogota one year warranty from Alpine Stars. We've got that Nucleon level two, CE level, double A rated, 400 bucks. It's gonna protect you from the elements. Be ready for any sort of adventure you might be ready to go on. Now, if you still have questions, head over to speedaddicts.com, talk to our writer support team, where you can always talk to a human over the phone, live chat, or emails. If you already got a Bogota Pro Dry Star jacket, let us know how you like it in the comment section below. That does it for today. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.